Howdy folks. Hi. Uh, I thought I'd hop on here and give you my little clip of what the warehouse means to me. Um, <laughs> uh, I got nothing. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you know what the warehouse means to me is um, I know it's a place that I can go and work or a place that I can go and see top notch quality performers and artists. Warehouse theater is a professional atmosphere that is run by professionals. People who have been honing their craft for years and you know that good care is being taken into the work that's being put on stage. That, that dedication is embodied by every staff member working there. I love Mike, Jason, Mallory, Jay, Claire, and Katie. Our new artistic director, uh, what's his name? Mark Malone? Mickey Stallone, ah, Michael Gambon. When I got out of college in 2007, I had no idea where I wanted to go or what I wanted to do. And the Warehouse Theater provided me an opportunity to volunteer and then to intern and then to design. I've gotten to do everything that I've achieved in my career and my life as an artist because of the Warehouse Theater because of the generosity of the people who work there, because of their willingness to take a chance on uh, somebody from Greenville who literally just walked in the door and said, what can I do to help? The Warehouse Theater uh, gave me my first contract as an actor's equity artist, um, thereby offering me membership in the Actors Union, something I'm very proud of and will always be grateful for. I saw my first show at the Warehouse Theater when I was 16 years old. I worked as an intern there the year that I turned 19. I designed my first show there the year I turned 22. And I was really nervous, I was like 19 years old. I had never had a professional gig before and I just kept going back and kept going back. And the most wonderful thing about the warehouse is like so many of my formative experiences, both artistically, emotionally, happened here. I've been able to be a mom and a teacher who's also gotten to watch my students grow working at the warehouse. Um, a wife and I'm a daughter and I'm all of these things. And the warehouse theater still allows me to be an actor and a director and an artist, which isn't always a given once you choose certain things for your life. So for all of the times when I was able to bring my son with me to sit in the green room safely during a rehearsal. I'm so grateful to the Warehouse Theater for also being family. It is a place that I always feel completely safe to take the biggest risks. And it has the hugest payoff of magic, you know? And it's just a, a box. <laughs> this isn't a huge production. For the most part, it's just really ingenious artists working their hardest and finding creative solutions that make magic possible. One of my most um, memorable experiences at the Warehouse Theater, uh, some as an actor when I played George and Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and Joe Keller and All My Sons, and both of those roles happen to be opposite um, one of my great friends and an amazing actress, Mimi Weich. So um, working in rehearsal and in performance with Mimi is like being with your most trusted colleague. Uh, everything that happens comes from a place of honesty and uh, it's just such a comfortable and rewarding uh, place to be. And then um, I've had some amazing experiences directing at the Warehouse Theater, uh, particularly uh, comedies. Uh, the ones that come to mind are uh, Almost Maine and The 39 Steps and um, Christmas on the Rocks and Grace and Glory. Working with, um, again, incredible artists who, who make their home in the upstate and, um, and make their artistic home at the Warehouse Theater. I think one of the most um, transformative experiences for me was being the interim artistic director for the Warehouse uh, in its most recent change of leadership. And it was then that I really came to understand what an amazing staff the theater has. And all of the things that go into, uh, for instance, the education program and the touring uh, productions of Shakespeare and 
the, uh, the dedication and heart uh, behind the development uh, of donors and uh, corporate sponsors. And it, um, it just uh, deepened my uh, feelings of, of dedication to, to the warehouse. It's, it's the kind of theater that Greenville is so fortunate to have and has been so wonderful to support, particularly in the difficult times we now uh, find ourselves in. So um, here's to the Warehouse Theater. I hope it will be my artistic home uh, for many, many uh, decades to come.